you're here today with Cherry Healy. Cherry, how are you? You're looking summery. I am so well. The Good. sun is shining. Yeah, the sun is shining. You're grabbing the one day. And I went for a run, so I'm high on endorphins. So we can have a good natter. Right, I'm ready. So what I kind of, as I was reminiscing to my, in my own head about you, one of the things that kind of, one of the things all the different people you interview, you've done docu documentaries about, and you've been through, are they just ideas? Like, where do, where do they come from? Who kind of, it's, it's, such, it's so widespread, I suppose. Well, I don't want to be fired, so I'm going to make sure I say that it's producers and development producers, <laughs> and it's wonderful commissioners, commissioners who are brave and have a lot of foresight. It's a big team effort. Right. The personal docs that I did for BBC yeah. Three, that was a mixture of a brilliant commissioner at BBC Three called Danny Cohen, mm. um, who had a wonderful uh, idea to commission programmes about women's lives, which at the time wasn't really done. Yes. And my fantastic producer friend, Rob Hill, who noticed that um, I was incredibly loud and nosy. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Yeah, but, uh, it's, and it's still true. But I, so we came up, we conjured up some ideas as a, as a group, and we made Cherry has a baby, and Cherry gets married, and yeah, Cherry yeah. goes dating, and all those wonderful things. And and the same with program. I mean, there are programs like Inside the Factory, which um, I did not create. Or that was not yes, my idea. Yeah. But I do get to meet these wonderful producers all over the UK and, and abroad. Yeah. So someone who's making a rare form of brined cheese in Somerset. And to go and have a chat with that person is unbelievable, unbelievably is it, is privileged. It, is it a natural kind of curiosity you have? or is it... Oh, completely. I don't think you could do the job and pretend because the days are really long. Right. They start very early. Yes. And they finish, oh, it depends on the director, but they finish late. And you have to be so high energy for the yeah, whole day yes. that I can't imagine how someone could pretend like but this. Do, do you always have... When you, when you kind of you you hear that you're going to meet a Brian cheese yes. producer, do you always I have, get so excited? But, but do you have an idea of what you want to talk about? Absolutely. Or... With Inside the Factory, I've been doing yeah. it now. We, we're on series eight. Yes. Okay. So I've been doing it for a really long time. Yeah. And I I am I know the format and I know what they want. They've got a bit of science, a bit of humanity, production, mm. a bit of engineering, but mainly they want fun because. Right. The very nature of what that person is doing is intrinsically interesting. Yes, I agree. But they just want they want the energy of it. Yeah. Um, because also some some things aren't intrinsically interesting. <laughs> do you have to do you tap do you sometimes do you sometimes Oh my gosh, you have to tap dance <laughs> so hard. Okay. So we did one recently <laughs> Oh my god, god, can I say this? We did one about Something. Dying things, and it was okay. wasn't, it wasn't on paper it was a bit oh gosh, that's I don't know how I'm gonna make that interesting. Yeah. They tend to be sometimes the most interesting ones. And I can't work it out whether it's because I already turn up knowing I have to work really hard right. to find the fun. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you've got a good character, it believe really, the subject doesn't matter. And of course the guy doing the dying was an absolute that, dream. And I love that absolutely. He was it. just a, yeah. like, the most unusual one for us to Yes, I am a naturally very curious. I okay. think you have to be. Okay. I'm a great person to sit next to you at a wedding. Oh, you could you just... always put me next to boring Uncle John. And you'll, and you'll entertain your we'll find up. We'll end up chatting. I'll find out so, deepest, darkest. So, go on. We, obviously, we work in the world of, li of life. What's the difference in when you're doing it to camera and you're doing it on a stage? So, so different. Go on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When I'm doing something like Inside the Factory or yeah. 10 Years Younger, yeah. it's me and the cameraman and yeah. the producer, and, and it's very small and contained. I know that I can say something and we can refilm it. Yeah, yes. Um, I never need that because obviously I'm a one hit wonder. Uh, <laughs> of course, we're, 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 we're worked out to that too. Well. You know, you can, I can riff and I can make yeah. jokes and I can do some that. And if it doesn't work, it's. it's exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm always, always prepared, always over prepared. Yeah. But with live, I am. I go that and and again. Yeah. Because there's so many eyeballs on you. When yeah. I'm making Into the Factory or another show, I only see a couple of sets of eyeballs. Yeah. Whereas when you're doing live, you are, you feel everyone's energy, which is a completely different dynamic, yeah. and you see their eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. And they remember if you say something inappropriate, or if you get someone's name wrong. Yeah. Or you have a blank. Yeah, yeah. There is no escape, and I'm so very, very aware of that. And the time frame is very special. Yeah. I love doing live. It's very exciting. So do you, and do you, and you, do you prepare differently? I prepare completely differently. I, I'm much, much. 
how do I prepare differently? I make sure I know the words pretty much inside out and back okay. front, so that then I can actually improvise. Right, with yes. me. I'm much, much that. more relaxed if I've been uptight before. Yeah, so yes. I'm, I've, I know everything about the people who are there. Yeah, I know yeah. my words back to front and front to back. So I know that if the auto cues go, I know where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. I know, okay, this is because things happen in life. And if you're prepared, you can just utterly relax. And if I've not done that before, I mean, I've done it a couple of, I've never done it since because it's just really important to know your subject. I yes. hosted a wellbeing of women summit yeah, recently. Yes. And all these incredible women that I respect in the audience <laughs> and yes. from that world. And I just made sure I, I, I knew that, like word for word. Yeah, yes. But it always, it, it always so impressive when someone turns up and they've got, they've got that whole thing and then they give that fun. Because then you don't, you don't look like you've done that because you can just relax. Yes. But if you haven't done that and you're constantly looking down and you're thinking, oh, oh. God, who's this person? What do they do again? And if afterwards as well, part of the live experience with awards, hosting, speaking, TV, is not just the moment you're on, but the bit before. Mm. And that you're paid... Uh, for a whole service yeah, yeah. to be respectful afterwards and stay and talk to people yeah, yeah. and show people that you care. So you need to know people's names and what they are doing and turn up on time and just that's and the also whole package. Be, also being nosy means you get more information about oh them. Oh my God, it's perfect. <laughs> exactly. And also it's, it, that's a real learning experience. So yeah. for example, the Wellbeing of Women Women Summit, I met some incredible people yes. that I've worked with since. So personally, just being really selfish, yeah, yeah, sure. there's a little golden opportunity. I also host these awards, the Aesthetic Awards, I've done it. Okay. Twice, three times. I've met the most wonderful, interesting people who work in that industry. Mm. And so not only do I want to provide a really good service for them, yeah, yeah. but there are some really interesting people that I've worked with since. And it would be a missed opportunity yeah. to go there and be rabbit in headlights. Yeah. So with Inside the Factory, I just rock up. No, I don't. I still read it. Yes, but I, but it's a I wouldn't it's a different learn thing. the script off by heart. Yes. Example, but I would read it maybe three times and I would go, okay, well, there's this little process where the guy's making the cheese and yeah. he's doing this. You need to nail that. Or there's a really difficult piece about graphene and there's a scientist. And so I make sure I know that yeah, yeah. front to back and back to back. But otherwise, it, it can be, it's, it's slightly it's more it's you. freewheeling. Yeah. Shall we? Thank you so much, Steve, for your time today. Very lovely. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. I'm enjoying the sun. I will. <laughs>